In this lecture, guys, I want to show you how to do lifts and extract and exactly what is lifts and extracts in the video editing. Now, if you select a clip here, you could remove it and keep its space. For example, here, you want to remove this clip, but keep this blank space over here. This is called a lift. So to do that, you just press backspace. Here you are. So now you have done a lift. You lift it away. Okay. I will undo that. But from time to time, you want to remove a clip, lift it. But also in addition, you want to delete the space. If you delete the space, of course, all the clips on the right of the deleted clip will come to the left. This is called the ripple delete or an extract. How to do that in DaVinci Resolve is using the shortcut Shift Backspace. Now you notice the clip has been deleted and its space has been deleted and all the clips on V2, V1, A1 and A2 have moved to the left. That is because they were all auto-selected. You get me guys? So if I select this clip and they are all auto-selected and I do an extract, then they will all move to the left. This is a ripple delete on all the tracks. Cool. But now if you change the auto select, for example, you remove the auto select on V2 and A2. So we want video 2 and its audio to remain the way they are. And then you select this clip, for example, in the middle, it's more obvious, and you do an extract. You notice that V2 did not move at all because its auto selection is off. But V1 has ripple deleted, meaning the clip has been deleted and the space that it was occupying on V1 has also been deleted and all the clips move to the left. This is a very important concept. Where this happens in DaVinci Resolve, if you come to the edit here, you will find you have delete selected, that is backspace, and ripple delete, that is shift backspace. In the video editing language, the delete selected is called a lift, and the ripple delete is called an extract. Let me also show you how the link selection here affects lifts or extract effect if you like. You notice that all our clips here have a small chain. It means this clip is linked to another audio clip. If you select the video, you will also be selecting its audio because they are linked. And this link selection happened because the link selection option here is on. If I select this one, it selects is audio also. If you remove the link selection and select a video clip, for example, you notice you did not select the audio. It's not good to leave the link selection off because you can have mistakes just like this. So you notice I moved the video, but I did not move the audio. If the audio was very relevant for the video, then I have an offset between the audio and a video. If you're doing an interview, now the video is not really with the audio and that will cause some problems. You have to put it back. Let's keep the link selection on. And then you would like to lift only the audio. Well, to select only the audio, you will press Alt or Option on the Mac and you click on the audio clip. And here you are, you selected only the audio and not the video. Vice versa, if you press Alt or Option on the Mac, click on the video, select the video, not the audio. Now, I will press Alt and select only the audio, press Backspace, meaning I lifted the audio and left the video. So this is all about the lift and extract. Later on, you are going to use lift extract a lot to delete your clips and, you know, to organize your timeline. Thank you very much for listening. I hope this was clear. If you have any questions, please put them in the Q&A section of this course. I will be very happy to help you. I'll see you in the next lecture.